Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Grown Clip Bonsai for Seniors. No, I still didn't get my mics done. I was busy like you don't believe. Well, today is March 22nd of 2024. It's Friday. It's 35 degrees Fahrenheit or 2 degrees Celsius. Repot and bloom. I'm going to show you my rose cactus, my Periscia rondiflora in bloom. And yes, you can have a bonsai with a flower. Look at that. And it's got a nice little trunk developing on it. So why not? Try, try a rose cactus. I mean, you got nothing to lose and it's easy to do. Today we're going to re... I got my log pot and my Vtex. We're going to repot and prune it. Now my log pot was a, a real toughie because when I drilled the holes, the whole inside was all hollow. So I had to use a corium caulk and put it all around her. So it's been two days since it dried. Cracked a little bit over 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 there, so I put caulk in there too. So I'm just going to put a screen in there to hold, you know, to block the holes and to hold the soil in. But before we tackle that, let's put this down. Let's get our Vtex out. This is the last of the three because the fourth one's outside. I'm going to have to see how it's going to how it's going to grow. If it survives the winter. So the first thing Tom's going to do. We're going to cut some of these long shoots off. I'm just going to put them in water. I tried a couple of cuttings. I let the cutting sit in water for set from 24 to 48 hours. So I'm just cutting these back. Just to see what we got. Because this is long leggy growth. In the basement reaching forward the sun so you can know this one's grown real nice so let's get this back here put these in here because i'm gonna try to do a mini out of one out of these and see if i can root because it's cold in the basement so sometimes they root and sometimes they don't i was disappointed in my uh remember mama video with the rose on that one because that one just didn't make it i don't know if it was the root system on it or what So I stuck a cutting in it, and I'll show you an update on that later on. So right now we're just snipping these just to see where we're at. To leave some green on there, some life. So if you fail, hey, go for it. Same thing with my thimble bonds. I, I had the, uh, whatchamacallit in there. Ah, time you better think. The Jerusalem cherry and that for some reason didn't take either. It was green and it just petered out. It just died. So what I'm going to do, what I did in there is I stuck a, what did I stick? I stuck a sacred fig in there just to see what happens. So you can see all the nodes on here. So I'm going to cut it back at a 45. And stick that in here. Are you going to say, Tom? The branches are all goofy, but hey, right now I want to get this through the potting and I want to get it through these cold months because we had a nice snow this morning and it snowed again around five, four o'clock and it just stopped around six o'clock. It covered the ground nice and everything. It didn't stick to the sidewalks and into, into the cement because it was from the warm days and there's our little birdie over there. So we'll put him on the side. So for now, I'm just going to cut this one in the middle here. So I don't have, I can keep this open here. And we'll do more cutting later, later once it starts. Now I dropped that one. There it is. It's stuck to my fingers. And you know what tonight is, today's dance night, so... Grab your sweetie, have a slow dance, and listen to some big band music. Now we're cutting all this tough wood, because you know nothing cuts wood like ironwood. So, and don't forget, you put my last name on there, N-O-W-A-K, you still get a discount. No, I don't get nothing for doing it, for advertising them, because I passed that on to you so you can get a nice little discount. 
when you order from them. I know they're on Amazon, but you don't get the discount there. Just on their site. Okay, so let's get this out. There we go. It's got a nice tight root system. Let's get the pot out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my steak fork. Now this is dry, so I can work with it a little better. And you can see the this part here. Let me put this down so you can see because you can't see through my hands. <laughs> In other words, I make a better door than the window. So right now, I have to cut all these roots around here and just go with this part. And you can see this one's growing out this way. I just noticed that. So I'm just going to cut it above the node down here. Just to go from there. And this one's got a kukuriku turn over there. So I'm going to cut it down to the brain over there or the node. And we'll stick that in water. So, the root system is real thick here, so I'm going to have to cut this. That's why I cut a lot off. And I'm going to use my, uh, my, shears, my scissors that I use for roots, but this is a tight root ball there. So let's see if we can cut this back a little more with my fingers. Pull it back, pull it back. You can see how nice the root system developed. It's got some nice soil in here. I like this soil. So I'm going to just put it in that bucket where I got the stuff mixed up already. And you can see the beautiful roots on here. So right now, right now, I got my dish here. I'm going to stick it in. I'm going to fill it with water so it gets hydrated a little bit. Ah. Fill it up. Same time, you should have rehydrated this already. Well, you got to see what I do when I do it. From start to finish. So, let's take this out of the way. And I'll stick this in my mixing pot over here. And my, my bucket. Because I always reuse that saw because it's still good. And I don't know if this is going to be a little bit too small, that screen, but, but I, think that'll, I think that'll work out for us as long as I hold it down when I put in the soil. But let's, I got to put some in the butt. Okay, let's untangle the roots. Now these are going to be a little bit too long for the pot, as you can see. So I got to get this in there. So, let's get my scissors for the soil here. Just clip away a little at a time. Just cut them off. Just like that. Now these are all, all stuck together. So let me get this out. Let's put this in. There we go. Don't forget, get that rose a try. I got that at Ted's Greenhouse because they sell some good ones there. So this is going to be a tough cookie right now. I'm soaking it, soaking it, soaking it. I should have soaked it earlier, but you know what? Haste makes waste. So a little at a time, just digging in there with my two-prong root rake. And I would have to roll my sleeves up so I don't get them all wet. Nice going, Tom. So let's try to get this unmessed. And just fire it in, fire it in. we got to get these roots separated. Just firing it in, slow but sure, firing it in, firing, firing it in. And I want to separate them so we can see what we got. Let's put this on the side. It is a toughie. 
Now the VTEX I got from the Crate Myrtle guy, Clint Cotton. Just go type in Crate Myrtle guy and you'll see all the stuff he's got. He's got a lot of beautiful Crate Myrtles. And the VTEX is something I want to try out. And I got the other one in the microclimate, so we'll see once the weather turns because it started snowing at 5 p.m. Like I said, till no, 4 p.m. till 6. But it was a nice surprise this morning to get up and see it snowing. It was a beautiful sight. That's why I had to show a short video on it. For in the city, in the Windy City, that was good. Now in March, sometimes we do get some snowstorms. I remember one March when we got a foot of snow at, at the end. And for March, the old saying is, if it comes in like a lamb, it goes out like a lion. So, it's nice. Something different. And all the daffodils in the front of the house are all covered with snow. And you can see the yellow poking out of the snow. It looked really cool. Okay, so. Can we get these roots all discombobulated here? Now we got a knot right here, a knot right there. So I'm gonna have to get my my needle nose from ironwood and just cut this knot out. And I'll I'll definitely give it a resharp. There we go. Let's put it over there, let it dry a little bit. Let me get this out of the way. And I got my label for this drying. I still had some snowflakes to put on it. Now you can see these are all tangled up. So I'm gonna really have to get in there with my fingers and really try to get it around because I got a root coming all the way around here. That's really discombobulated in there. So I'm going to get this long root that's going down out, just like that. And I'm going to really get this untangled here. I want to try to get a nice root flare on here. So get a nice little radial root base. And I think like this is good because with it growing, I don't want to do too much. Now there's something stiff over here, which is a big thick root right, right about here, two big thick ones. So I'm just gonna snip them back just a little bit so we can get our radial root base. I'm not gonna do much on this because it started growing so early, but that's nice because I know I kept it alive during the winter months. Now I'm gonna have to keep this down here during the winter months also. Now you can see this long, long tap root. So I'm gonna have to get my needle nose from ironwood and just cut that off. So I get some nice root flare on here. There we go. And no doubt about it, I'm gonna have some tea tonight. Probably two cups. Because today's a two-cupper. <laughs> Even though it's 35 and 2C, it's going down. And what it is, it's a damp cold. It's not a, a cold cold, but a damp cold's worse than a cold cold. And if you can get my drift. But I'm just going to get these out. And I just want these to grow because they're young upstarts. I'm not going to do a lot of root pruning on them. So... Paper towel. Let me dump this in the garbage. There we go. Now we'll get our, our little pot here. And we'll get my, here it is, my chopstick. I'm gonna hold it down. And I think this pot will give it a nice a way to develop the, the root base. Okay, time so we locked it in again. Ah. I should 
should have opened them up before, but there we go. And this is my mix right here. So let's just hold it in place. Yeah, I was disappointed because this was like a hollow pot. This is mainly like for a for a mangrove pot to hold in the water. So I got that. Let me get a full pot. Not a full pot, a full cup. And let's see how this thing looks. I'm gonna say, Tommy, you gonna cut more roots off? No. It's a young upstart. I want it to grow, but I might have to cut around because these long roots will not fit. Let me just give it a little cut, a little cut around here, just like that. Nice little trim. Now, chopstick I'll with my fingers I'm going to give it a nice little push out just going to get in there and just help these roots to get a nice little root spread on it just like that to hold it in there it's something like this at the bottom there so what I'm gonna do is put a little bit in the middle got a piece of foot there and I'm just gonna keep it like this okay now I gotta get my Mikos but I gotta wash my hands wipe them off there I'm going to dab it on the roots. Here we are. I know I never found that green thing. It fell off of here. I don't know what it was. Okay, Tom, you got to wipe your hands more. Yeah, I know it's a mess. Every winter it's a mess. i got to clean this place up. Okay, so let me get the mikus out. Get it all over the root system there. I know it's not the best root system in the world, but next spring, if I'm still around, knock on wood, <laughs> we'll give it a good repot. Pull it in. Get some more soil. Remember, dirt is something dead. Soil is always living. And the reason why I left some of the soil onto this tree is because whatever beneficial bacteria is there, it'll... Uh, Will help the tree to survive. So we're just gonna fire in our chopstick. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Get in there, in there a little bit at a time. You're gonna say, Tom, it's a little off. It's all right. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered. I'm doing stuff like you would do it. I'm not perfect. <laughs> I goof up, I tell you I goof up. I was disappointed in that rose. It was a nice rose, but it never took off, took off after the repot. So I took a cutting off the roses outside in the winter with the snow and stuff, and I stuck it in there. So we'll see if that takes. But the other roses that I repotted, they're all still healthy yet. So why? I have no idea. Okay, where's my rocks? I have no rocks. Except in my head. Ha! What are you going to do? What's that, Mr. Elephant? I know. We're going to do a children's corner soon. I got just the tree for it. I 
I think the kids will like it. Just got to get a pot for it. There. And where my brushes are at, I have no idea. Well, there's the gloves, which I should have used, but I didn't. Ah, what are you going to do? And since this is going to be inside the basement and not outside, it should hold in pretty well. I like this little log, but I was disappointed that it was two pieces. So we got this, giving it a good soaking. Needles. Ah, we're sewing. Yeah, we'll put that over there for now. Okay. Let's get it in there nice and easy, nice and easy. I thought I had a rock. And I don't see any, or do I? Don't fall over the bucket, Tom. We can't fall over the bucket. And I had something here, but now it's gone. Ah, here it is. Ah, it's a little dirty, but if I wipe it off, this is what I tried with the, that sealer and some of that blue sand. So we can put this in here as a little pond later. Just something to hold this side down. And then, okay, Tom, what'd you do with it? Here it is. We got some torpedo sand we can put around it because I have nothing else. So it looks like a little, so you don't see the, the, uh, the tray, but just for now, just to hold it down, just to give the illusion that there's something there. Until it takes off and then I'll take it out and use it for something else because you never know what Kevin on the prowl I don't know if he's gonna look at it or what he's gonna do just like that let's turn it give it some more torpedo sand just like that just like that And we got our VTEX in there. Now, I'm not going to hit the, the lipstick on this yet because right now I got most of the tree wet. And the reason why I do it late at night, well, it's 10 after 7 right now, is because the plants are starting to rust. It'll give them a chance to recuperate. So there we go. Cover on. These are dates I get. I like dates, so I save the containers. They're good. They're plastic, but they're good. And all we'll do is give it a little water here, Mr. Elephant. A little bit more so it all goes through. And right now, I think that's pretty good. There we go. Get my tissue, wipe the top of the pot off. And there we are. Our little VTEX. Clint Cotton, the Crepe Myrtle guy. There you go. <laughs> He's good. And he'll answer any question you want. And he's got the thing on his website where you just type in your questions. If he don't answer you right away, he'll get back to you. Don't worry. Okay, and don't forget your rose cactus. Your Periscia grandiflora. So we got our little, little clan here today. And you know it's Friday night, it's dance night. If you can't dance, then just sit down, relax with a cup of tea, enjoy each other's company, you and your sweetie. So you take care, everybody. Have a good day. Oh, long video. Sorry about that. So you take care and have a good one. And 
stay warm because I got to have two cups of tea to take the chill out of my bones. <laughs> take care, everybody.